This plantation in here is doing magnificently. Look at this. Oh, that's, this is a scrub plum. This isn't one of the ones I planted. But then there's, right there is a rowan, gilda rose. Look at that. Spindle. More of the scrub plum. There's lots of daisies. Some more gilda rose. Look at this, rowan's leaping out of the ground. Evening primroses, great for moths and nighttime pollinators. There's some catmint. Anyway, I'm coming up here. Tomorrow is gonna to be brutally wet and the ladies are all quite shorn. And they're up here. So I'm opening this gate because I've given them access down this laneway to the shed so that they can get in there for shelter during the night and the worst of the rain. Because it's really, really cold. It's not quite freezing, but almost. And so access to the shed will be nice for them. Isn't that right, ladies? They're in the shade there, so they'll like the shade as well. This field, the shade is only on the edges. There's no trees yet in the middle of the field. Hey, yeah, how are you, Kestrel? Yeah, how are you? And her two stargazers, which are doing so well, you wouldn't know there'd been a problem. You wouldn't know there'd been an issue. Okay, the sheep are gonna love this laneway as well, because there's loads of grass on the either side that hasn't been grazed in a while. So I've gotta untangle this. I better use two hands. They're all gonna jump up and stampede down here, but there's not much for them to go to that's new other than the laneway. But just watch, when I open the gate, they're gonna think there's something new happening. But there's not. Look at that. <laughs> they all think something exciting's happening. Isn't that right, little bit? Nothing exciting new. It's only the laneway is open. <laughs> Look at them. <laughs> Java, Java, leave Java. No, no, leave them be. Good boy. Leave them be. Well, at least they'll all now know that the, uh, it's open for use. It's very rough still as well. Brindle, leave it. Dogs, leave them be. So they're gonna graze the laneway now. Some people are just enjoying baking in the sun. It was such a cold night. Luckily it wasn't wet. But tonight and tomorrow are gonna be very wet. So they're all gonna want to come inside and get shelter. Oh, she's gotten up now. She's going like, how did they get in there? She doesn't realize she has to go in a circuitous route to get to where the others are. Lots of grazing still here in the beech trees. I'm loving my wild flower garden. There's all kinds of pollinators, hoverflies, bees, ant-like things, etc. Look, there's, oh, the hoverflies are all fighting over them. I can't video. <clears throat> there's another one. Look at that, all different kinds of pollinators working away. But what I love, there's so many daisies. The daisies are looking fabulous. But what's really cool is these stat upright, can you see it? I don't know if the video can show it. Is those high up valerians. There's one there, 
and one over there, right there, and right there. And uh, they're spectacular, and they give a sense of height to all the daisies underneath. So hopefully over time, more of them will occur. I planted more than two. Oh, here's another one I can see is coming up over here. <clears throat> so there's a third one and a fourth one. There we go. So these are the valerians. You can see them, they're dancing away above the daisies. Look at that. There's one there and one over there and one further over. And in amongst the underneath the understory, there's pinks and blues. Look at those. The tansies will be coming soon. And the yarrows, the columbines are coming over. Here are some geums over here. The primroses, evening primroses, which moths love, are going to be flowering soon. The geums, the alums are over. You can see the alums are, that's one of the alums right there. But look at these Canterbury bells. Look at that for a blue. Yahoo. And I love that the, um, oh, kitty. <laughs> the fox and cubs are working very well. They're even going to seed again. I can spread those seeds to other locations or just go think like that. Yeah. And look at these purples. They work well with the buttercups and also beneath the oxide daisies. Oh, there's a hoverfly on one of the day. Oh, flown. The hoverflies, they're very jumping from plant to plant, flower to flower. But it's all looking so lusciously full of flowers. And I love these dark, I, they're not Canterbury Bells. I know they're not Canterbury Bells. I can't remember what those guys are called, but they're fabulous. They're all over the place. This one's gonna bloom soon. This big one here. Anyway, this is my wild garden. It's looking fabby doozy. Fabby doozy! I think the St. John's wort's gonna be coming out soon. The buds are coming. And the geums. Isn't that right, kitty? Yeah! Look at all the fox and cubs. There's loads of them. Loads and loads. Look at these beautiful magenta. Oh, photo bomber. Beautiful magenta um, scabious in front of the Russian sage. And then my beautiful red clematis is just starting to bloom. It's lovely. And then there's lots and lots of bees buzzing here. Bumblebees and honeybees. All kinds of bees. And dogs hunting for bees. Excuse me, you're on my beautiful scabies. Thank you. What are you doing? Trying to look picturesque or something? You think you're sweet sitting there? Silly pup.
front of the cottage is looking so lovely. It's really looking lovely. Look at the rock roses down here, the pink. Now, here's something. These hydrangeas I planted normally in a box. And I didn't put mesh over the water hole, the drainage hole. And this has occurred. Now we come over here and I put some mesh over the drainage hole. And this is so much better. Okay, there's an issue here, but they are so much better. There's a few of them that are being eaten, but nothing like the other one. So, and it's a trick somebody told me. You put a mesh over the drainage hole, then you put in the stones, then you put in the soil, and it prevents the slugs from going up inside the pot. I've got to plant all these out. These were dug up from a friend's garden. She was doing some building and I dug all this stuff up and I still haven't planted it out yet. Oh, not all of them. That there is cuttings that I've done for myself. These are my Christmas roses that I want to plant out somewhere else, uh, kind of hellebore. And that uh, um, cowslip or primula I want to put out somewhere else. But that, those, and those, and these ferns were all from my friend's place. But um, look, they're ferns. The fiddleheads are still coming up. There's one unfurling there. They're lovely. I'm very pleased with them. But this is, I like this display. I think it's kind of nice. And then the valerian is doing really well here with a tagging bit of honesty. Look, the last of the honesty is coming through. And then of course, my dry garden which is just doing so well this year. <clears throat> it's taken years to get it going right. And now it is. Oh, look, another kind of pollinator. Look at that. Mm. Having a pollen feast. These are willow herb. These will be purple later. But I do lo love that a lot of people see toad flax as a weed, but I actually love it. So that is looking spectacular with all the different species. I'm loving it. And I love this deep, rich valerian here. Oh, yes, and look at what just bloomed today or is starting to bloom. This lovely mallow. 